This video is going to be all about how you can make a few simple changes to take control of your life, level up and become the best version of you. Not the best version of your friend, not the best version of your favorite influencer, but the best version of you. Hi guys, my name is Shirley and a welcome, welcome back to my channel. If there is anything that I am passionate about, it is personal development, self-improvement. I love working on myself. I love seeing people work on themselves and overall, I just love seeing people live their best lives. So I figured why not put together a video of five effective things or five effective changes or steps that you can take and that I have personally taken to level up my life. So without further do let's get straight into it if you've decided that you want to level up your life the first step that you want to take is decide who you want to be this hit me just one day while I was driving and it just hit me I'm like who do I want to be and then I just made like a quick mental list of who I want to be and then after I'd made that little note I was like okay now let me just go out there and be that person and it really is that simple so what i want you to do is do a little exercise like take all the time that you want like take yourself on a date go to the beach go for a walk pour yourself your favorite beverage whatever it is just have some time where you really sit down and make a list like when i made my list it ended up being like four pages long and it doesn't have to be like these big extravagant things. It can just be you auditing every single area of your life and determining who you want to be. So on my list, for instance, I had, I decided that I wanted to be a confident person. I decided I want to be a healthy and fit person. I decided that I want to be somebody who's wealthy and has a multi-million dollar investment portfolio, all those things. So you can literally just brain dump. And then the next step is so simple. Like it is so simple. It's, it's so simple that it sounds like so hard, but it really is that simple. Like once you've decided who you want to be, then just be that person. Like don't wait until Monday to be that person. Don't wait until the first of the month to be that person. The moment you decide who you want to be, start being that person. I decided that I want to be a kind and loving person. I'm not gonna wait until Monday to start being a kind and loving person. From that moment, literally that moment that I finished making that list, I started like just being a bit more cognizant and just being a bit more conscious of it in my day-to-day -day activities. Just start actively taking steps to being the person who you've decided you want to be. And the thing is, you're not gonna be the person who you want to be every single day. Like there's some days where I'm not positive. There's some days where I'm not, some weeks where I'm not in the gym as much as I would want to be. And that's okay. That is completely okay. We're not always gonna be the best versions of ourselves every single day. But I think the most important thing is first, really identifying who you want to be and then just being like don't overcomplicate it don't say that i need to have this specific degree or whatnot no don't overcomplicate it decide today that you want to be a confident person very next minute start taking the steps to becoming a confident person step number two of leveling up your life is presentation unfortunately reality is presentation at the end of the day is key i mean if you're been invited to speak at international women's day or if you're a ceo and you're presenting in front of board members there is a high chance that you're not going to do that presentation in trackies. Why? Because at the end of the day, presentation is key. And good mate Harvey Specter said so himself, like it or not, people respond to how you're dressed. And this is so true. Not even just for a matter of how other people perceive you or how other people take you seriously or how they respond to you, but just your inner self. This year, I've made a little bit more of a conscious effort in my presentation at work. Like for instance, I'll go into work, put on a decent outfit. I'm not like going out there, like spending a thousand dollars on outfits. Like no, <laughs> I work within my budget and my budget is not a thousand dollar dress budget. But anyway, I've just taken a bit more of a conscious effort to just make sure when I go into work, I'm looking presentable. I am a very lazy person in terms of makeup and stuff like that. So I don't like when I'm saying look presentable, I don't put makeup on. Like even in my videos, I don't put any makeup on because I'm super lazy. But then they are the little things that I have been consciously putting more effort into in terms of my presentation for instance when i'm going into work i'm wearing nice dresses bla blazers or whatnot and i've made a conscious effort to actually wear heels into work and i have noticed i walk with so much more confidence and i feel more confident in myself when i'm actually wearing a pair of heels at work relative to wearing flats again i'm not saying that everyone needs to go out there and wear a 
wear heels into that. If you're not wearing heels, you're not going to be taken seriously or whatnot. But I've noticed that when I'm presenting myself to my best version, I myself feel more confident in myself. Or even when I'm going to the gym, if I've got on a cute outfit at the gym, like I just walk into the gym, I feel powerful. I feel like I'm going to smash the workout. I just feel strong. I just feel ready to attack the weight. So I really, really do challenge you to put a little bit of effort into your presentation, not even for other people, but just for yourself and how it's going to make you feel. And again, this doesn't require breaking the budget. This doesn't require changing yourself into being somebody who you're not. Like if you feel most powerful when you're wearing jeans and a really cool leather jacket, then do it. Figure out what works for you, what makes you feel great when you're presenting yourself and channel that energy. Step number three of leveling up your life is getting your financial house in order. Like, oh, I cannot express how important personal finances is. At the end of the day, we live in a capitalist world. We live in a world where a lot of things are driven by money. I'm not saying that money is the source of happiness. I'm not saying like, you should just be thinking about money all the time. But at the end of the day, to live life, you need money. To have a place to live, you need money. To feed your family, you need money. To be able to just hang out with your family and friends without worrying about whether you're gonna make rent and have good quality time with people that you love, you need to have peace in terms of your personal finances. And I get it, like sometimes looking at your finances can be scary. Like sometimes you just feel like it's just so overwhelming. You just let things go. You feel like you're so deep into debt. You feel like you just don't even wanna open your bank account because you spent too much that weekend but trust me trust me that's not going to help you what you need to do is really get a good understanding of where your financial situations at what are your assets what are your liabilities what's your income looking like what's your expenses looking like have a good bird's eye view of your finances and then decide how you want to tackle them and the thing is you might not be able to tackle everything like within the first three months it might take a journey it might take years to maybe be debt free or whatever it is but just get a handle on your finances. Do not have blind eyes, guys. Like personal finances is a whole nother topic. It is a whole nother video. Like we can go deep into numerous videos on personal finances. But what I'm just trying to emphasize in this video is get a handle on it. And trust me, trust me, when you have financial peace, it just trickles down into so many areas of your life. Step number four of leveling up your life is to open up your world or open up your mind. And when I'm saying open up your mind or open up your world what I'm saying is try new hobbies interact with people from different cultures read books on topics that you probably would never you know pick up on a normal day listen to podcasts interact with people from other religious backgrounds interact with people who maybe don't have the same world view as you travel the world eat different foods like just do things that make you step out of your little bubble of the world that you know just for yourself and I tell you and I tell you this is something that I've made a conscious effort to do and it has just been so life-changing and has really shaped the person that I am today and I'd really attribute this to one traveling and secondly being somebody who's quite well read like I'm not gonna testify here and say that I'm the most educated or most well read person in the world no but I do put a conscious effort into reading different books listening to different podcasts the thing is what we've been raised to believe or what we know is so small like in the grand scheme of the universe there's so many different ways of thinking there's so many different ways of approaching life there's so many different ways of viewing the world there's so many different goals that you know are, are lovely to chase but sometimes we just stick to the little world that we know and we never give ourselves the privilege or we never give ourselves the honor of actually seeing things differently sometimes i feel like in life we're just given a script and we're told this is the script of what life is and then we end up living our lives just based according to that script but if you go out there and you just try to be open-minded it changes from this is the script that you've been given you feeling like you have to follow that script to being like okay this is the script that i've been given but another person's been given this script another person's been given this script oh i like part A of that script. Oh, I like part C of that script. Let me take parts of that script and now create my own script. And the thing is when we're opening up our worldview, it doesn't mean you have to accept everything that other people say. Like there's some books that I've read where I haven't agreed with the things that the author have said, and that's okay. I take the insights that they 
want to share i evaluate whether that's true for me or whether i want to accept that sometimes it's a yes sometimes it's a no and that's okay what's important is just being more aware sometimes i feel like we end up being depressed or we end up being unfulfilled with our lives because we're not actually living a life that's true and authentic to us but we're living a life that is a script or that we feel like we have to whereas i feel like if we actually start to open up our way of thinking we can create a path for ourselves that's more fulfilling and that's more authentic to our true self last and final step to leveling up your life is to do a deep audit of the people in your life again whether you like it or not we are influenced by our community we are are influenced by the people who are closest to us so it is very very important to make sure that you're fully aware of who you are allowing to have access to you like look at the people who are very close to you and have a think about are their values aligned with mine is the way that they're living their life aligned with mine and if the answer is no it doesn't mean that you necessarily need to cut them out it just means that you need to be aware of that and maybe limit access to those people and i would argue that it is better to stand by yourself than to have a large group of friends that are not aligned with where you want to be like i would testify myself i don't have that many friends like i have people who are close to me friendships and relationships that I really value and that I really respect and that I'm so grateful for but I wouldn't say like I'm somebody who has like a large group of friends like if somebody was like have a birthday party and invite a hundred people I, I genuinely would not have a hundred people to invite and I'm completely okay with that the people who are close to me are people who I value they're people who inspire me they're people who encourage me they're people who support me you don't need to have 10 people that support you if you have just one good friend or even if you can just strengthen yourself it is so much better to have a smaller knit community or to stand by yourself than to be surrounded by a large group of people who are going to pull you away from the person who you want to be and to take this point a step further i would also challenge you to have a deep look of who you're watching on social media yes i know we speak a lot about the friends that we have but we don't speak enough about the people who we're following on social media or the people that we are watching on social media let's say you're following somebody on social media who maybe you're not friends with you might be like okay whatever i'm not friends with them so whatever they're doing is probably not affecting me but if you're constantly watching certain people on social media maybe who have a certain lifestyle that provokes not positive feelings when you look at it just cut it out. I challenge you to go through all your social medias, your Instagram, your Facebook or whatnot. Have a look at who you're following. Click on that particular profile and say, when I see this person's stories or when I see this person's Instagram posts, what am I feeling? What emotions is it inciting in me? It's better to have 20 people that you're following on socials where when they post something, it inspires you, it makes you feel good rather than to be following 500 people and just having a lot of toxicity when you open your Instagram or your TikTok or whatever. All right, guys, that ended up being a lot deeper than I thought it was going to be. But those are the five things that I would recommend if you want to level up your life. These things were more definitely mindset and ways of thinking steps that you can take. I have released another video that's focused more on habits. So that's things like eating well and like maybe your morning routine. So like little day to day activity habits that you can implement. If you want to check that video, it's going to be somewhere up here. So click on that. But hopefully this has been insightful and this has been helpful for you. If you have any recommendations of things that other people can be doing to level up their life or just a testimony of things that you have done to level up your life, comment down below. I really would love to hear from you guys. And with all that being said and done, dream big, keep all and hustle hard. I'll catch you again in the next one. Bye.